I used to sell these brand new, and to have a used one on the lot feels like going back in time. Welcome to HB RV Lifestyle. They call me the Honey Badger because I give it to you straight and transparent about the RV business. This is the 2014 Lance 2295. It is one of the best built travel trailers in the industry. And let's get in a DeLorean and go back in time. <laughs> Not that far, about 10 years in the past. If this is the first time you've seen one of my walkthrough videos, I do about eight to 10 minute walkthrough of the entire travel trailer and talk about it without any special effects or weird editing or anything like that. Just you and me talking, okay? Here we go. So it comes with a power tongue jack. Now this was not standard back in 2014, so this was an add-on by the customer. It comes with two five-gallon propane tanks, and the customer put two group of 24 12-volt batteries on with a battery disconnect. Now Lance used to love putting front windows on these things, which surprisingly didn't leak. I was very shocked. The way they built them, they didn't leak that often, which is surprising okay now if we go to the weight right down here the gvwr is 6,000 pounds it has 14 inch rim and tires with a 2900 two 2900 pound axles now if you look here it only has an 868 pound cargo capacity so basically it weighs a little under 5200 pounds dry now, as we walk around, you're gonna see it does have a black tank flush, an outside shower, all the things you would expect out of a travel trailer. But it is, does not have a backup camera. It does have a 10 gallon uh, propane hot water heater, big power awning, which actually the awning is in very good shape. Okay, now the one thing about Lance, if you read here, it says that it is certified four seasons, which means back in the day, they were one of the very few travel trailers that would stamp and actually tell you it is a four seasons coach, okay? Also down here, you could tell this was sold in Washington state because it has the Washington tag on it. So whoever owned this first or bought it first, bought it in Washington, okay? Ooh, it says it's, hold on, there's another weight sticker down here. So this weight sticker says it's 4,746 pounds dry. So that means that cargo capacity does not include water. So 423 pounds of water and 868 pounds of stuff. Okay, that's very important. So the 868 pounds of cargo capacity does not include water. Okay, this is in immaculate shape. I mean, this is definitely a great top dollar used RV. Okay, now the U-shaped dinette does turn into a bed to sleep two additional people. Sorry, I'm using my uh, headset today because my microphone broke. Drawers underneath. I'm gonna do my best not to have the cord get in the way. And you guys know I love the drawers. Now the other thing I really like about Lance is the quality of the cabinets is better. So instead of just putting more lipstick on the pig, they make a great pig and they put the lipstick on. So good slide out pantry, good space there. You got a six cubic, six cubic foot propane electric refrigerator. Okay going into the bathroom and then we'll come back to the kitchen. Going into the bathroom, this is my complaint and has always been my complaint about this floor plan is it feels claustrophobic around the toilet, always has. So if you're sitting on the toilet, don't have too much claustrophobia, try to breathe. The rest of the bathroom's great. You have extra closet space for hanging clothes. You got good drawer space for your towels, uh, your linens, your sheets. Um, bathroom toiletries uh, the sink is pretty nice size the counter space around is pretty small again you can't get everything in a smaller lightweight travel trailer and then of course the shower 
pretty decent size. Okay, going into here, this is where the storage really gets good. You have more closet space along with an area for, let's say, shoes. This is on top of what I'm going to show you in the bedroom. And then you have a small little knickknack area. Maybe you can put canned, canned goods, cereal boxes, things like that. The big oven with the three burner stove. And then a little area for access and storage. Good counter space. I mean, on top of the fact that they naturally already put this here, this little extension, foldable extension, you have plenty of room on each side of the sink and the stove to put your heated goods plus prep vegetables, fruits, etc. What I don't like, and this is what frustrated me about Lance for a long time. So I sold these brand new for a long time. What frustrates me is they never put the one piece sink. How are you gonna wash a big pot in this sink? It, it, that, that's my complaint. I know a lot of you guys have told me, you know, it's, it, it's different strokes for different folks. It's just an opinion of mine, right? I would rather have had them put the one piece sink and I complained about this to a guy named Lou who was our rep for a long time. And he go, oh, I don't really have control over that. And that's probably true. Okay, up top, plenty of area to put your pans, your pots, your plates, your bowls. And then you also have pull-out drawers and storage underneath here for like your utensils, cookware, good storage underneath, and good access to the plumbing. Okay, they put the bigger fireplace, the old Jensen radio and CD player along with a little bit of storage on each side and the swivel around TV. And then you have a residential size queen bed, walk, they consider a walk around, and then you have your smaller closets. So truly, if you wanna go out for like two or three weeks at a time, I'm only gonna show one side, if you want to go out for two, three week trip, four week trip, you have so much opportunities to put good amounts of clothing inside. You have plenty of storage inside and out. I think it's one of the best floor plans they ever built. And it's really great high quality. In, in essence, if they were more affordable like they were back then, like back then, this would be 40 grand. Now they're like in the $60,000 range. If they were still in the $40,000 range brand new, I would want them brand new because they're a really good builder of travel trailers. Now, if you have any questions, please see the links in the uh, my social media links in the description box below. I also have a uh, link to the website where you can see pricing and more photos if you're interested in purchasing it. And also in the top right hand corner of this video, you're going to see a really cool high quality travel trailer that I think you're going to enjoy.